In May 2006, the Suncook River, swollen by just under a foot of rainfall, topped its banks and began searching in that way that water does for the path of least resistance. In Epsom, it devoured this sandy landscape, leaving behind scars still visible today. The river has so much power, it's just un unbelievable how it could take a, you know, a, a, a bus size or house size chunk of earth and eat it. Uh, like it was eating a marshmallow. Where retired fish and game officer Eric Orff stands now used to be a sand pit. The flood filled it with water and it burst, causing what is known as an avulsion, a rapid and dramatic change in the course of the river. Two and a half miles of the Sunnycook River disappeared in a 24 hour period. When the pit burst open, dairy farmer Bill Yetton was there. As floodwaters cut a new channel, he and others witnessed the rest of the Suncook begin to flow backwards. And just upstream, we probably had a 10-acre field that had four or five feet of water on that afternoon. And by morning, that water was all gone. You kind of put a knot in your stomach thinking, oh no, what's going to happen downstream? Pembroke and Allenstown were already dealing with inundated homes and evacuations. In Epsom, it was the land that was most at risk. And when it comes to property along this stretch of the Suncook, the Mother's Day flood is still causing damage. And that's the thing, people don't understand it's not, it hasn't stopped. Upstream from the old sand pit in the river's new channel, this land farmed by the Yettons is disappearing. Last year's neatly planted corn is falling into the river row by row. And this wasn't even a heavy runoff year and we've got major damage again. The erosion here is dramatic. Trees toppled, giant boulders exposed after sitting under the riverbed for centuries. We're seeing material that's been hidden for maybe 10,000 years. After 10 years of planning and gathering funds, the state is ready to begin reinforcing the Sandy Riverbank with $3 million worth of rock, sand, and steel sheet piling. It's probably going to be ranked as one of the largest river stabilization projects in New Hampshire history. Erosion is natural on rivers. Um, this type of scale of erosion is unusual. Engineers who specialize in large-scale river projects will soon begin work. The rock is designed up to uh, very high flood events, so higher than what we saw in that Mother's Day uh, flood. And uh, so this, this bank should remain solid. Landowners like the Yettons, who've lost dozens of acres to the avulsion and the erosion, say the Mother's Day floods won't soon be forgotten, but they are ready to move forward. I'm excited to see the progress. Uh, it's been 10 years getting through the, the planning. I, I'm really excited about uh, seeing something done now. So. In Epsom, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.